language class 7th lecture 1 and lecture 2 now first of all i would like to share the instructions for copy making number 1 write particulars on first page number 2 write first term on the second page number 3 paste the syllabus outlines on the third page next make title page for all the topics with subtopics your particulars will be your name father's name section class cell number etc now the third part is index making in index you have three columns which you have to fill number one serial number you have to put the serial number for example number one then you have to put the date and then you have to put the topic or chapter number with exercises Now we are going to start our first lecture with parts of speech and it's a quick review. Now you can see there are columns. In first column you can see all the parts of a speech are there. Number one is noun. Noun is the name of anything, person, place or any name. Examples, pencil, cat, work, notebook, etc. Sentence, this is my cat here. Cat is the name. So this is the noun. Next, verb. Verb is any action or state examples get some cut like example sentence are like apples come and please here you can see like and come are the verbs because these are the action now the next is adverb adverb describes a verb adjective or any adverb itself for example my cat eats quickly it means quickly is the adverb which is modifying the verb and you can see all the examples of adverb over there now the next one is adjective adjectives basically describes a noun examples small big good etc example sentence we like big cake i have three pencils now here you can see big is the size and it modifies noun cake and in the second sentence i have three pencils here three is modifying the noun which is telling us the quantity of pencils so this is about adjective now the next is pronoun it replaces name or any noun example i you we they he she it sentence he is very clever here he is the pronoun which replaces any name now preposition it links a noun to another word for example at in of on under after for example she is hiding under the table now here you can see she is the pronoun and table is the noun and under is the position where she is hiding in this way you can say preposition links a noun or pronoun to another noun now conjunction it joins clauses or sentences examples but and while when etc sentence i am very hungry but the fridge is empty now here you can see two sentences over there and but is the connector which is connecting these two sentences and making a sense now interjection it is all about short exclamations or you can say these are the certain words to express happiness or sadness in a sentence example who oh hi ouch wow example wow what a beautiful car now here wow is the word which expresses the sentence so in this way we have a quick review of all the parts of speech now the topic is noun page number one exercise e and you have to complete this exercise in the book number one their band plays wonderful music how many nouns are there band and music you have to underline it number two a single truth is more powerful than a thousand lies can you see the nouns over there truth 
and lies number 3 my grandfather's patience is amazing the name is grandfather so this is the noun patience is the noun so this is the noun and you have to underline it number 4 we love the fragrance of sandalwood fragrance and sandalwood are the nouns over here number 5 there is no information about the missing baggage at the airport you can see there are information baggage and airport these are the nouns so in this way you have to complete this exercise in the book you have to underline this now besides it you can see this types of noun over there noun is the name of anything any person any place now the types are common noun proper noun countable noun uncountable noun countable concrete countable abstract uncountable concrete uncountable abstract collective material and compound noun now we are going to discuss about these types common noun common noun is all about the general names for example girl city subject etc and what about proper noun proper noun are the specific names for example if the common noun is girl then the proper is sara city is the common but proper is karachi subject is the common noun but english is the proper noun why because these are the names of something and they have their own individualities now countable what are countable nouns countable nouns are those which you can count it either it is singular or plural for example fans classes books now you can see you can count it now uncountable uncountable nouns are those which cannot be counted in number for example water cement rice sugar etc now the next is countable concrete first of all i would like to explain what is concrete concrete is all about those nouns which you can see touch and sense now countable concrete it means these are the nouns which you can count it for example boy paper chair desk board etc now what are abstract noun abstract noun are those which you cannot see you can only touch and feel and sense and what are countable abstract countable abstract are those you can count it but you cannot see and you cannot touch you can only feel and sense okay now examples are idea promises concepts ideas you cannot see but you can count it that is why we are saying these are countable abstract promises you cannot see but you can count it concepts you cannot see but you can count it now we are coming to words uncountable concrete concrete are those as i have discussed earlier that you can see and touch now uncountable concrete are those which can not be counted but you can see and touch for example water rice cement so these are the nouns which you can see and touch but you cannot count it that is why they are uncountable concrete now uncountable abstract what are uncountable abstract these are the nouns which you cannot count and you cannot touch and see you can only feel it sense it for example happiness wisdom sincerity loyalty etc you cannot see these these nouns and you cannot count these nouns now we are coming towards collective noun what are collective nouns it is all about the collection of same things or or group for example pa- pack of wolves bunch of keys staff school class so these all are the collective noun now material material noun are those noun which can be used to make other things for example silicon ivory wood and with the help of these nouns you can make other things now in the last compound noun what are compound nouns 
compound nouns are the multi words for example haircut grandfather honey bee butterfly and you can see these are the combination of two names that is why we are saying these are compound noun so this is all about the types of nouns in this way we have discussed the types of nouns thank you class now homework read and understand parts of a speech and types of nouns from book number 2 do the exercise a of page 1 in grammatry book now this is all about lecture 1 and lecture 2 thank you class take care